my name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. So in this week's question I've been asked how I can reorientate a model which is the wrong way around. Within SOLIDWORKS you may find two distinct cases where this might happen. The first being where we've imported a model from another CAD system and perhaps that CAD system has modeled the design in an unusual angle. Uh, and as a consequence it comes into SOLIDWORKS the wrong way around. And the second is where we've started our model maybe on the wrong plane and as a consequence our design ends up being the wrong orientation when we come to bring it through to a drawing. And you can fix both of those scenarios with the following techniques I'm going to show you. The first one I'm going to look at is where we might have brought the model into SOLIDWORKS and it's come in the wrong way around. You can see this design here. What I'm currently looking at is the front view of this funnel. My isometric view looks like this and my top view you see is completely at the wrong angle as it is here. You'll notice my origin point as well is halfway up the actual neck of this funnel here, which seems like a rather odd position for it to be. So what I can do is I can go about repositioning that origin by exporting the file and then reading it back in again. I'm going to export it with the coordinate system at a different position. So to do that, I'm going to first draw a sketch. I need to give myself a point of reference because at the moment the model, the way it round it is, there's no kind of horizontal reference really that's easily taken from this model. There's no vertical. Everything is at the wrong angle. I'm just going to put in a simple sketch line which goes from the center of this circle here to the center of this one. There we go. And with that sketch drawn out, I can then use that as a reference to put in my coordinate system. On the Features toolbar, under Reference Geometry, I'll select the Coordinate System option. I can select and insert a coordinate system at the position where my end of my line is, so that point just there. And then I can use the line that I've inserted as one of the axes. So I'll select this line as the axis for my X direction. So let's delete that what's in there at the moment and just select that line. You should find then it orientates itself normal to that, and then you can flip the Y direction so that Y becomes vertical. Obviously that's quite important in SOLIDWORKS and the Z is obviously pointing out towards us there. So that's fine then, we can actually export this file using a step file type and use this as our coordinate system for the default. So if we go to File, Save As, choose a step as our file type, there we go and then choose options when we export it and rather than using the output coordinate system, system set to default we can use coordinate system 2. Click OK and I'm going to override the origin. Next time we read it into SOLIDWORKS the origin will be positioned just here with the planes intersecting over this point as the center. So we should find it gets read in the right way around. The second situation you might find yourself in is that one where you may have modeled the design the wrong way around. That's in a case where you might have started the design on the wrong plane, for instance. And that can be quite easily fixed for your drawings by pressing the spacebar and taking yourself to a view. At the moment, this is the front view of my model, but I want it to become the top view. So if I press the spacebar, and select this button here to update standard views, I can then choose the view that I want this to become. If I choose top from the panel, it will then give me a confirmation that, to warn me that it will change other views at the same time. I'll hit yes, and then I can put myself into the isometric view from this drop down. And you see then the model comes in the right way around. So there's two situations there can be fixed with either of those techniques. Maybe the easiest one is perhaps the second, but that's not always easy to do if the model has no reference at all. Thanks very much for watching.